Hey guys, welcome to our first ever episode of Nonstop Recipes. I'm Elizabeth and I'm Lily and we're really excited to be making one of our favorite recipes with you guys. Today we're making a dish we like to call Granny's Dessert. I really like this dish because it's simple and easy and even if you don't think you can bake, trust me, you can make this. Like me. Let's go. Nonstop. The reason we call it Granny's Dessert is because our grandmother made it for Thanksgiving and she found it off the internet and it really did, she didn't remember the name and so she made us figure out a name and we're like, well we don't know, so we'll just call it Granny's Dessert and that's what we've called it ever since. Let's take a look at what you're going to need for this recipe. You will need two cans of crescent rose, two packs of eight ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, a fourth of a cup of melted butter, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and a fourth of a cup of sugar. First, we preheat the oven to 350 degrees. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is spray your pan with vegetable oil or cooking spray and we use a 9 by 13 inch pan because it just holds everything the best. The next thing we do is spread the crescent rose. <laughs> it broke. It's fine. It'll still work if it breaks because uh -huh. you're just going to push it together anyway. So. And you want to scoot it back. And just make sure like all the holes are punched in. <laughs> it should look somewhat like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna command some softened cream cheese and what we like to do to help it get, keep, get soft is we're just gonna leave it. We left ours out for about 30, 25, 30 minutes and it, it's very soft now. Now we've already got the cream cheese in the bowl. We need to add one teaspoon of vanilla. And one cup of sugar. and what mixer you use. You're gonna probably have to get it out of the whisk and that's what we're having to do right now. Hey, it's so heavy. <laughs> hold on, hold on, no, hold on. No, no, Lily, honey, it's stuck in there. Give it to me. Okay. So this next part is the hardest part, I think, because if your cream cheese isn't, what are you doing? Nothing. If, this cream, if the cream cheese isn't softened really well, it's not going to spread really well. So just make sure your cream cheese is nice and softened and it should spread fine. You spread it on the crescent roll. If yeah, you spread you it know that. on the crescent roll. Since it was the same. And if you didn't mix it really well, it's fine because the worst thing that can happen is you have clumps of cream cheese in it, which is never bad. And you want it, you want it to be labeled. Most of the time, it's not. Okay. Are we doing spatula? Okay. Is it good? Okay. Get Bracky, get Bracky a lick. Come over and get a lick, Bracky. <laughs> so the next thing we need to do is take the other pack of crescent rolls we have and open it up, spread it on top. It's not gonna look perfect, but it'll still taste really good. Really good. Lily is going to melt Bad. half a stick of butter and I'm going to sprinkle 
one fourth a cup of sugar on top of everything. Just try to make it as even as possible. Okay, and one fourth a cup of cinnamon. And um, this is mainly just to um, put it all over the top. So if you don't like as much cinnamon, then you don't have to put that much on there. But if you like a lot of cinnamon, you can put as much as you want. So I may have slightly miscalculated on how much cinnamon to put on top. I know you heard one for the cup. What I should have said was one tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay, now you're gonna pour the melted butter all over. And you're just gonna take your painter brush butter thingy. And you spread it out. That's what it's called, so. And then you're just gonna spread it out. Painter brush butter thingy? I don't know what it's called. I know what it looks like, but trust me, it tastes really good. <laughs> I put a lot of cinnamon on there. Yeah. So the last thing you're gonna do is put it in the oven that's preheated at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. While we're waiting for Granny's dessert to get done, we would love it if you could email us some of your favorite recipes at nonstopfamilies.gmail.com. We would also love for you to like and share this video. Follow us on Facebook at Nonstop Families and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So now our Granny's dessert is done and we're gonna get it out of the oven. Cut it with a knife. Well, honey, what else would you cut it with? We're gonna cut it with a spatula. Mm. And then we add the finishing touch with it, which is <coughs> Cool Whip, of course. It does not need Cool Whip. Yes, it does. It's good. Y'all are gonna love it. Uh huh. I'll <laughs> just touch the cream. Cool whip. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you try this recipe at home, be sure to comment in the comment section below and tell us what you think. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Lily. Until next time, go, go nonstop. Non